Okay, I'm going to show you my final light setup. So we have windows across the living room uh, with some space between the curtain wall and uh, the concrete to put the LED strips. So I've run power over here from the ceiling to behind this big pillar. And here's what's going on. We have a power strip right here that uh, both the power supply and uh, the uh, Philips Hue light control, light strip controller are plugged into. Uh, this power supply is 100 watts and uh, it converts 120 volts AC to 12 volt DC, which is what the power the light strips run off of. Um, now the uh, Philips Hue light strip controller also takes 12 volt DC, and in theory, I probably could have just done away with this AC adapter and plugged the uh, light strip controller, which is kind of hiding back there, uh, right into this power supply. But I didn't want to tear that apart. I didn't really want to deal with that, so I just uh, plugged them both into a power strip. Um, back here, you can see that uh, the 12 volts coming out of the power supply are going into the RGB amplifier. Uh, and on the far side of the RGB amplifier is where those 12 volts are coming in. Uh, the left side of the RGB amplifier is where the Philips Hue uh, RGB wires and uh, 12 volt power are going in. And uh, of course the light strips are hooked up on the far right side, two of them, and they both extend to the left and the right, which covers the entire uh, curtain wall, which is about uh, 25 feet worth of, of light strip. And so those light strips are literally, according to the specs, about 12 times as bright as the Philips Hue light strips. And they uh, all told at full white brightness seem to consume, I would say, about 60, 60 watts. So that's uh, well within the range of the power supply. Okay, I'm going to wait until night to show this, but uh, that's basically how this is set up. So you can see the results uh, in another video. Okay, so here I'm going to demonstrate the Hue light strips at night. Obviously the light strips are off right now. And I'm going to control it both with the Hue application as well as the Hue tap, which you can't see right now. But you will when I turn the lights on, so here we go. Three presets, white light, kind of a cyan sea blue color, and a deeper blue. Of course, I'm off. And of course, we've got the uh, hue application here. Drag it all the way across the bottom here. So that red. Yellow. Green. Bluish. Dark blue. All the way to purple. So pretty straightforward, it all works.